for this presentation, I use one point perspective. First thing to do is to determine your horizon line. Then locate your vanishing point. Outline the massing or volume of your desired house. By the way, in one point perspective, the surfaces that faces the viewer appears to be as their true shape without distortion. Here, I incorporated balconies and louvers as part of my design. I also wanted to use glass as a railing of my balconies. And plant boxes for vegetations. And always remember to incorporate also the vegetation since they are also part of the design process. Outline the shell, put some details such as groove, windows, glass, doors, stairs, and etc. an ink, I use an art line point too. If you want to emphasize the corners of your drawing or your structure, you can also use thicker ink like point 0.3 or point 0.4.
after you finalize inking, you can now render and choose what medium you want. Here, I use watercolor and the brand name is Brown. In my experience, I always start to render my background, like the sky or the vegetations out there. And always remember to always start to render or paint from light to dark. surfaces or texture, always start to paint your base color like what I'm doing. For the wood panels, I use a combination of orange and brown to make it lighter and brighter. And for the glass, I consider the reflection so I put some gaps on the surfaces. Then apply some darker blue for shades and shadows. Then apply some darker gray for shadows. For the wood texture, I use orange for highlights and brown for the darker ones. For the brick wall, I use orange, red, and black, then applied it randomly. For vegetations, also consider the light source to provide shades and shadows.
for the glass or windows, you can also use white ink for highlights for reflections. And now it's done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.